Hello, my name is Florian Poschenrieder from Regensburg University Medical Center and I'd like to present our clinical picture illustrating a case of e-cigarette awakening product use associated lung injury or EYLI taking a chronic course. We report on a 52-year-old man who presented with breathlessness on exertion that had been worsening over the past two weeks. He had smoked 20 cigarettes per day for the past 40 years and had no other symptoms, specifically no systemic or gastrointestinal complaints. The patient had tried to quit smoking four months ago and had started vaping using commercially available e-cigarettes which did not have any tetrahydrocannabinol added. The symptoms started some days after the patient had added a new flavor, blueberry, to the vaping fluid. On examination, we found the patient effable with no signs of heart failure. Auscultation of the chest revealed discrete bilateral crepitations over the lung basis. A high-resolution CT scan showed lower lobe predominant bilateral consolidations in a periform-cuvascular distribution, the pattern of organizing pneumonia. Extensive diagnostic workup did not provide any evidence for an infectious or rheumatological etiology. Bronchoalveolar lavage showed a lymphocytic alveolitis. Transbronchial lung biopsy confirmed an organizing pneumonia with interspersed pigment containing macrophages indicating foreign body inhalation. The patient stopped vaping e cigarettes and was prescribed systemic steroid therapy. But after four months, there was no improvement in the patient's symptoms and imaging findings remained unchanged. Six months after the first presentation, we repeated the bronchoscopy with cryobiopsy and found no signs of lymphocytic alveolitis, but histopathology reported a diagnosis of nonspecific interstitial pneumonia. We concluded the patient had EWALI that had taken a chronic course starting with the organizing pneumonia and evolving into fibrosing nonspecific interstitial pneumonia. Thank you very much for your attention.